There's nothing better than watching multi-billionaires living in the most expensive place on earth complain about first world problems. Anna's invite says 9 p.m. start. That bitch gave me the wrong time. Welcome to Bling Empire. There isn't too much to know about these guys except for whether they're rich or just normal. So Anna is rich. Her dad is the founder of a weapons company. Christine is rich. Her husband is a descendant of the Song Dynasty. Jamie is extremely rich. Her father founded a cybersecurity company. Kelly is normal. She's a film producer, I think. Mimi is rich. Her husband owns a manufacturing company. Kane is rich. Parents are into real estate and own many malls in Asia. Kim is self-made rich. The only one, I think. She's a famous DJ in LA. And Kevin is a broke model. So to make a long story short from last season, Kevin had feelings for Kim, but she rejected him after Kane, who's Kevin's best friend, told Kim he hooked up with another girl. Anna and Christine are beefing, and Jamie thinks Christine is sus. There's so much garbage and filler this season compared to the last two, it just feels like they would make a big deal out of the smallest issues only to resolve them two seconds later. I didn't like the fact that you guys were like saying, oh, happy birthday, text me, and then we'll do something when we get back, and then I didn't hear anything. Five minutes later. <laughs> So good to release. Like the most exciting part of episode one was when Christine and Gabe were having dinner and Mila Kunis runs into them. Yeah, your house is insane. Literally, how do they know her? Bro, these people are hanging out with A-listers. What the hell? One of the only semi-significant plot points, and I say the word significant very loosely, is when Jamie gets lunch with Christine to find out why Christine has been telling people that Anna wants to hurt her. Here's the thing, okay, I'm gonna speak and I'm gonna ask if you can not interrupt. Christine is definitely acting a little sus because she's been heavily implying the news came from Jamie or Jamie's friend. And from what I understand, Jamie is just not having it because she says she never said anything about Anna. Ugh, Christine is as fake as her boobs. And although Christine is low-key deflecting by trying to blame Kane for being the instigator of the entire situation. Never in a million years. Really, that's how naive I am. Would have thought that Kane would do all of this. I do think that Kane is an instigator. Anytime this dude is alone with anyone, he is stirring up drama, bro. For example, Kane gets in Mimi's ear when Christine couldn't make it to lunch because she had to pick up her son. And at first, Mimi doesn't even care that Christine can't make it, but Kane gets her so riled up that she starts a fight with Christine about it. And then Kane is like, They're fighting. Bro, you started it. He is evil. I mean, Christine is so upset at the party that she ends up leaving and gave her husband starts going off trying to find out who started the drama. I mean, he even starts yelling at the camera guy. Get away from me. I'm, 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 my dude is just doing his job. If you want to be mad at someone, be mad at Kane. And when it comes to Kevin and Kim, they have established themselves as just friends, despite their really messy on and off history. So Kevin starts dating this Reiki healer, Janice, and she happens to be Kim's friend and basically therapist. And immediately Kim is just pissed. I've told Janice a lot of my personal issues and now she's going out with Kevin. She's obviously jealous right from the start and doesn't really have a good reason to why she doesn't want Kevin and Janice together. She just says that it's unprofessional of Janice to date Kevin because she knows so much about Kim's personal life and problems, but like, what? The only issue is Kim has been rejecting Kevin for the past two seasons, so how does she have the right to be jealous now? And because Kevin is such a simp for Kim and obviously still has feelings for her, and I don't blame him, I mean, she's hot, but Kevin tells Janice that he just wants to be friends. Better if we kind of, um, just be like friends or something, you know? And it's obvious it's because he's into Kim, and if being with Janice means he doesn't have Kim, Kevin doesn't want it. So I just wish they'd be honest and admit they like each other because that's what I'm understanding. So with Kim's behavior regarding Kevin dating Janice, it was shocking to see that the very next episode at Kane's party, Kim shows up with a date, which is like, what? The fact that Kevin broke up with Janice for her and she just does him dirty, bro. Kev, are you okay? Are you okay? Obviously not, bro. He broke up with Janice for you. Kim is low-key a savage for this. I mean, she knows exactly what she's doing. And then she goes and drops the biggest bombshell. You're not my type. Bro is sad as hell. I mean, just look at him. She has zero chill, but I kind of like it. I'm not gonna lie. But my sympathy for Kevin starts to change when Kevin and Christine go to Paris for Fashion Week. All expenses paid for Kevin by Christine. He keeps saying how he can't go back to living a non-rich lifestyle, and I just don't know how he's comfortable taking this big of a gesture from a friend. Don't get me wrong, I'd love a free trip to Paris, but I would feel a little weird if one of my close friends was paying for the entire thing, bro. It just seems like he's using her a little bit, you know? And while they're in Paris, Kevin can't can't stop thinking about his ex, Devin. And so Christine, being the good friend that she is, decides to fly Devin out to Paris for him. And immediately they hit it off and they're already bonding. So Christine throws a big party for everyone to meet her and... I would love to introduce you guys to Devon. Hello there. <laughs> 
It's awkward. Wow, I am so shocked to hear this. Yeah, it's pretty obvious Kim is a little bit jealous, and that's sort of where the season ends. Overall, this was honestly the worst season ever. It felt lazy and boring as hell. So much filler that just did not even matter that I did not feel was worth mentioning. I honestly couldn't wait for it to be over while watching it. We don't get any closure on any of the plot lines with Kim and Kevin or Christine and Jamie, and instead of giving us a good cliffhanger for the next season, they just show us a promo of a spinoff called Bling Empire New York. I'm single. Never had a New York pizza. No. I'm ready to mingle. Like, what? This is the last thing we need. 